Hello and welcome everybody to this little mini deck tech for the list I'm going to be using as of November 6th. I just had to do this because I was super duper excited about the changes I made. Oh my goodness, I'll start off with, well, the deck art right here. Atarka's Command. A red and a green. Instant speed. Choose two. Your opponents can't gain life this turn. Pretty fantastic. We won't get caught out. Gain one against life gain. It can deal three damage to each opponent, of course. Man, just damage to the face. Very nice. In a pinch. At the end, to finish an uh, opponent off. Do that last bit of damage. We may put a card from our hand onto the battlefield. So this list is running 26. 25. 25 lands. Lovely chance to accelerate out stably, of course. Or creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain reach until end of turn. Hmm, man, that is pretty darn fantastic right there. Helping us against anything flying related. Of course, mono blue spirits. The deck I hate probably the most. Haven't faced it a lot this past day or two, but this is in there to do a wide range of things. But also buffing creatures. The plus one, plus one there could actually help us power out a galt of course we could be sitting on a marauding raptor a hunt master and maybe a topiary stomper just those three a tarkus command for a red and a green we'll get three total power we might have just enough afterwards to play galta of course these things are sitting nicely powered up so we get that extra aggression which is always fantastic but just the versatility man this has helped big time if we're facing off against a deck that might have maybe one black up, a black and a red, something that could kill Hunt Master, Stomp from Bone Crusher Giant, various things, we can simply go Tarka's Command. Hopefully, we have three lands at least in hand. So we get that extra one out, and we don't have to worry about what they might do. Lovely stuff. Of course, we could stop them gaining life, play that third land on their turn, and we're off to the races there. Of course, if it's safe, it's always nice to go Hunt Master, but now we have this lovely, fantastic extra option for turn two. Lots of stuff going on at turn two. Topiary Stomper, as always, play more lands. Definitely with 25, 25-26, uh, there's a good chance we'll get there to seven lands and start turning on Topiary Stomper. Continuing on with Darmy, oh my, wow. I think this is part of the secret sauce, part of the thing that has been missing quite a few times now against control, blue based, his plus one to add red or green, but protects against counter spells, not just for that creature you use the mana on, but for all creatures, the entire turn that has hosed more than one deck. Sometimes they've revealed a counter spell in hand. We've already got Domri on board. And it is a lovely, lovely feeling. Very, very exciting times. Watching counter spells just do nothing. Satisfying to say the least. Shifting Ceratops. Starting off. Don't want to get caught out by mono blue or anything else. Blue based, blue related. It does the trick. Nothing much more to say. Fantastic body as always. Regisaur Alpha, always got to be in there. The pairing of Regisaur plus Galta, the increased power from Domri, gaining extra value with the two bodies of Regisaur, of course, extra value with Atarka's Command now, and plus one, plus one for all creatures. Lovely. And then Carnage Tyrant, I'm not using Tameo's Safekeeping. One green, give Hexproof or Indestructible, and gain two life. So Carnage Tyrant there does the trick. Hard to deal with, very difficult. We land one, good luck. If we land the second one, sometimes that is just enough. We don't have a whole lot of super cheap things, but we do have enough lands at 25. We've got Domri to ramp, Atarkas, Huntmaster, Marauding, lots of stuff, and Topiary. Like look, all these five different cards do that to help us get closer to something like Carnage Tarrant. And then of course four Galtas. That's basically the best thing pretty much that dinos can do. If you're uninterrupted, of course, but oftentimes you do get interrupted. But if she lands, 
she gets the job done. We have some fun. Man base wise, hmm, there's some interesting little tech. Two copies of Castle Garenbrake. I might up it to three, potentially. If we get to four lands plus this, it means we get to six. And what costs six? Carnage Tarrant. Just Castle Garenbrake being something hard to interrupt with. Ramp that is hard to deal with. Of course, they could have Field of Rune to destroy a non basic land. Maybe we have Castle Garenbrake online, potentially. Tap it for six, we play two Topiary Stompers. Something like that. Maybe we don't feel it's safe to go Topiary Stomper, or we want to delay ourselves a little bit until we get Castle Garenbrake. Boom. Drop two of those in a turn. Lovely, lovely stuff. Sideboard. Well, that is pretty darn interesting. Back to Nature's. Just to deal with Yorion, enchantments, uh, reflection of Kiki Jiki, all that sort of stuff. A couple barrier breaches as well. Not the full set of Back to Nature, of course. You don't really need to see ever more than one. Maybe we see Barrier Breach first, or we see Back to Nature first. Does the trick. And then we see Barrier Breach later on. We don't need it. Of course, we can cycle it away. So just having the mixture of destroying enchantments. Back to nature, of course, costs less and is more powerful than Barrier Breach. But just splitting it up feels good. Very satisfying. Beseju, who endures, a little bit more enchantment, hate removal, possibly artifact or some painful non-basic land. And that single copy as well. Two in total feels all right. One to start, one in the sideboard if it's uh, something. We know it was going to be problematic. Scavenger Grounds, two copies. Just in case for the Grease Fang matchup. Always nice to have that. In a pinch, if we don't need to use it, of course, it's still land to keep our hopes alive. Keep powering out the big bodies. Collision Colossus. That's for the Spirits matchup, anything flying. But in a pinch, excuse me, it does good stuff. Target creature gets plus four, plus two. Galta cares about total power and sometimes the thing we slap it on. Well, we really want Trample, especially when that Marauding Raptor gets big. Maybe Topiary Stump, you know, turn it into an 8-6 Vigilance Trample. That's going to be pretty darn menacing. Maybe a 9-6 with Domri. 10-6 with a Tarkas. Oh, getting out of control here, folks. Just kind of filling in spots. Continuing on, March of Reckless Joy. I really want to try this out a little bit more, maybe getting a few more copies, but sometimes Otepic Huntmaster is dead. Maybe we have Domri out, we don't want to play the second copy. Or it's just late game and we have a ton of mana, we sink a bunch into X. As an additional cost, we can exile any number of red cards. So it is going to be pretty satisfying turning the hunt master into more value or the domri or we don't want to play a second copy of marauding raptor because then it would lock us out from topiary stomper surviving shifting ceratops surviving things like that if we can dig deep enough six eight something like that i can pretty much guarantee there's going to be two clear things i would want to use we can only play two unfortunately but you got to imagine that's going to be deep enough very very good good stuff finishing things off two blast zones eh, if we are facing Rakdos sacrifice which i did just face on the stream tonight and i took them down in lovely fashion man things with trample really get the job done against that deck just having big bodies overall very very exciting maybe one of my most exciting lists so far it's really hard to say because this is all I play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little deck tech and hopefully you'll stay tuned and watch the stream. But if not, you know it's late. You can catch it always afterwards and open to suggestions. Anything you want to see me try before you invest the wild cards. All right. Have a good one. Have a good night. A good morning, evening, afternoon, and hope to see you later. Peace.